Absolutely, and you are right. This is a proposed federal class action lawsuit settlement. It does not address individual lawsuits, but it does talk about what happened here at USC's Student Health Center. He took pictures of me while I was completely naked. I couldn't believe it when I found out that the LAPD has boxes of photos. He molested me made me feel less than. These are just some of the women reliving the painful details of what they say they faced when they visited former USC gynecologist George Tyndall at the Student Health Center. He's a predator. But while these women are suing individually, for others, USC has proposed paying $250 million to settle a class action federal lawsuit. Former patients of Tyndall accusing the doctor of sexual misconduct, sexual assaults, and that USC knew and covered up complaints during Tyndall's 30 years at the university. Under the proposal, plaintiffs would each receive $2,500, but patients willing to provide more details about their experience could be eligible for up to $250,000. Attorney Steve Meister doesn't represent any of the women or USC, but says this is not a closed case. The proposed settlement today between SC and the federal plaintiffs is only the federal side of the case. That's the class action side of the case. It has no impact at all on the state court individual plaintiffs, and it won't. He also says more women will likely come forward as the doctor treated thousands of students. But in his experience, it's not about money, but justice. No matter how little or how much money anyone gets, I'm sure everyone involved in the case would gladly give the money back if it meant that they hadn't been molested by their gynecologists when they were in college. Now, Tyndall has denied any wrongdoing, and USC denies any cover-up. But interim president Dr. Wanda Austin issued this statement. We hope that we can help our community move collectively towards reconciliation. I regret that any student ever felt uncomfortable, unsafe, or mistreated in any way as a result of the actions of a university employee. We continue to work every day to prevent all forms of misconduct on our campuses. And again, this is just a proposed settlement. It still needs to be approved by the courts. At USC, I'm Lisa Siegel, CBS 2 News.